Well, hi, everybody, and welcome into the Brownwood Lions Coaches Show. It's a beautiful Wednesday. Had a little rain early this morning. It cleared out. The sun is out, and Coach Sammy Burnett is with me. All is good in the world, doing Coach. Doing fine, doing fine, Carl. <laughs> Your mic is on, isn't it? Uh, I yeah, breaker check. one, nine, breaker, breaker. All right, so hello, we're all... Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a great start. Star's over there shaking her head, those uh -huh. guys. It was a little dewy out there this morning, but the sun came out and got a little blistering hot and humid, so welcome to East Texas. That's East Texas. <laughs> that's, that's East Texas weather at its best. Boy, no kidding about that. So you doing okay? Wonderful. You got a few things to talk about. Couple. Couple of things. Seven on seven to mm -hmm. mention. But, hey, I want to go back to our golf Saturday. Did you see the winning score? No. That loaded team right there. Who won? Bart Johnson, Junior, senior. Senior? Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. My more. call. Oh. Our police chief, oh. Ed Kading. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty stacked <laughs> little group right there. What no, they kidding. shoot? They shot a 57. Well, bless her heart. Yeah. Team Followell, the three girls in the club pro shot a 59. Oh. How about that? I never sniffed a 50s. <laughs> I've played in several four man scrambles and never sniffed the 50s. No. Anyway. I don't ever uh, well, I've always the adage you show me a good golfer I'll show you a poor coach. Mm -hmm. Means he's on the golf course too much. <laughs> so that's my excuse. All right, there you heard it. Anyway, I just thought I'd that's pass 10 that along. strokes. Yeah. I got beat by we shot a 57. What y'all shoot a 65. I mean 65. Yeah. I shot a 60. We shot a 67. Yeah, 65 and still got beat by eight strokes, I tell you. But anyway, it was a lot of fun and ABC Club, you guys did a great job of putting all that on last week. I guarantee it. we, you can throw we out of it. I had little to do with it. That was Jay Clark and Brad Jaton and Ro Roland Soto Bart and Jr. Bart Jr. and uh, Mark Besant. And am I missing anybody? Uh, sure, Jay Clark. Did I say that? I mean, our, our board guys, they did a ton. Uh, Sam Waldrop. Uh, oh, man. Let me just sit here and think a little bit longer. I mean, a great group of guys help organize it, help get it put together, help get the sponsors. I just sort of was at meetings and gave my input on how we should do this or do that and uh, they ran with it and a great group of leaders there I mean we made great money I don't want to give out a number right now but I can tell you it's going to allow us quickly to do some things for our kids before next season which wow. is extremely important so uh, I'm excited about it uh, I think the community once again step stood up and rose up and and just showed who we are and what we're about and raised a great deal of money Boy, well, amen to that. I can't wait for next year now. I'm, me I'm either, because you. it's only going to get bigger and better. Yeah. And it, the ones that benefit are the kids. 100%. Well, it's not 10% goes. No, it all goes to the kids. So I'm extremely excited about it. That was sort of our goal when we started this. And when we you know, uh, brought back the ABC Club, uh, still have great visions for what we want to do with that group. Uh, when it comes to facilities uh, but we're in the process of working on that right now so uh it's a growing process and uh, i think that we've just sort of set the foundation for great things to come so extremely excited boy amen to that uh let's say a shout out to dallas and linda right now they're listening i know they listen Man, every show i don't know who cut his hair was it linda she didn't tell me she I just said a friend mm, i don't know who cut his hair but by golly if he can get his hair cut and look that good. I would like for them to cut my hair, please. <laughs> he looked great. He did, He looked didn't great, he? yes. I, I loved it. I, it took about 20 years. He looked like a yeah. spry young man in that picture. Yep, I tell kids all the time, you'd be surprised the perception you get when you have a clean haircut or if you have a shaggy haircut. And I got to admit, Dallas, you were a little shaggy. <laughs> He was, <laughs> but he looks great. He's, He's been grinding. Good. Now he got all fixed up. And up. Yeah, he looked great. Oh, I, enjoy, I really... Uh, enjoyed seeing that picture because yeah. he looked good and uh, linda wants to thank everybody for birthday wishes too so uh, they just want to they don't do a lot of social media stuff but right. she wanted to pass all of that along, well i hope so. she got the video that we sent she the night it. of the good she said it was very, very special, special lady. Uh, at the banquet on friday night all right well let's uh talk sports stuff we got a little seven on seven coming up saturday coach yeah i want to thank uh early and i want to thank san saba coaches and i want to thank hamilton coaches and i want to thank dublin coaches uh, not just head coaches but their coaches staff that organized and got their kids over and the volunteers that they had coaching on the sideline uh for them coming over and competing in our league uh, man we fought weather several uh times 
we worked around it and no one complained and we all got great work for our kids so uh I, all in all our, our summer league uh our 707 summer league i thought was tremendous mm -hmm. uh had lots of people out watching from all communities so and i think you know what response from other coaches you know thanks for letting us do this coach uh it only makes us better blah 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 well you know what it makes us better too so we all uh uh, got good out of that league and I appreciate their flexibility and their willingness to come over every Monday or Tuesday and do that. And we are definitely going to do it again in the future. I think it's a great thing for all of us, but all in all I thought it was a great league and the Brown Lions got a lot out of it because we had some great competition and that's those other schools, Hamilton and Early and Dublin and uh, really, San Saba, I really appreciate them coming yeah, over. Yeah, I went by there a little bit Monday. I walked and then went by and watched a little seven-on-seven seven through yeah. the fence right there, and there were a lot of people out there, there watching. There was a gate this. open. You could have come. You didn't I, have well, to be a fence to. licker. <laughs> <laughs> you you could have come in. What do you say? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Step no. off the bus and lick a fence. <laughs> 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 it is amazing though how many people go and watch those things. It's yeah, great. it is great. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, coach told me uh, I don't remember slipper. who it was. Uh, we're standing on the sideline, and the coach said, "Coach, look up there in the stands." I mean, and I looked. Sure enough, I'm like, "God, wait, man, it's seven on seven. Yeah. It's crazy." But you know what? It was a sunny day, and it gave people a chance to get out and do something good. Yeah, Amen and support to that. those kiddos. So it's great. All right, this uh, Saturday got another qualifying tournament. Yeah, about four thirty. Four thirty what? By the time we're leaving. Oh, <laughs> in the morning? Yes. Yeah, that's a long trip to um, Heritage. Yeah, we're heading heading to Midlothian here. I had it all mapped out and planned out perfectly. I thought, well, I'll just go up and stay with my sister who lives in Waxahachie on Friday night and just have me some coffee and mosey on over to the stadium, which is about 10 miles away on Saturday. But she informed me that she'll be in Brownwood. So what? not pleased. Come on, Shannon. I know. She'll, she's listening, too. Oh, I know she I does. I didn't even say anything to her. Wow. But All she'd right. let me stay in her house if I wanted to, I'm sure. Oh, I bet she would. Yeah, that would have been a handy for you. Yeah. Just a short little she's trip actually, to Midlothian. Yeah, she's coming down. Uh, my brother, my older brother, has a daughter graduating, so they're having a ceremony for her. So that's why she's coming down. But she ruined my plans. No. Oh. Sorry about that. But she's but. bringing me the new generation templar knife you know she's oh, got a yeah. company called templar knives and they make fabulous knives custom knives and i'm getting the i'm the marketing head of marketing yeah we want to see one of those knives uh, sometime okay yeah bring us one to look at I show may, off i may bring you I, she did give me some to pass out and okay. i forgot about really? it really i may that? have to pass you one out okay it'll have a brown with line on it i guarantee you hey that would be Better cool <laughs> yeah. Speaking of knows. Midlothian Heritage yes, 707 sir. State Qualifier, uh, we are once again in Pool B. Uh, that would include Waco Conley, very good program. Yeah. Waxahachie Life. They're going to be better. District Foe yeah. and Crum. Again? Who we played at. Graham, Graham, thanks, Stuckley, and were successful, but had to score late. They got a good program. They're doing yeah. good things. Seven on seven is, you talk about a humbler equalizer, seven on seven is. Doesn't matter how talented your program is, seven on seven, you get equalized in the little schools, wow. can beat the big schools and all that. So that's our pull, and it goes like this. Nine o'clock, we'll play Crumb. I uh, think if we can get that win, our kids will get off to on you know a good start. Nine forty-five, we'll play Waxahachie Life, and then at ten thirty, we will play uh, uh, Waco Conley, which I think if just by looking at programs in that pool, I think Conley will be the toughest opponent. Crumb right there with them. I mean, Crumb's good, and then you never know about life. They get kids all the time, so you don't know what they're going to bring. They're, they are athletic, I know that. I don't know who they're going to have at quarterback and all that kind of stuff. I know the Conley quarterback's good. Uh, I got to see Crum, and then they gave us everything we could handle. So, oh, yeah. And then if we win and we would go to the qualifying uh, game, uh, that would be at the stadium, and that would be against Midlothian Heritage, who beat us last week at Burnett 27-6, to so I think we owe them something. Tyler Chapel Hill who is always athletic, Wills Point, and Whitesboro. So don't know much about Whitesboro other, other than years ago when Eddie Gill was the coach and we were in the same district. And when I was at Farmersville, uh, Wills Point's always athletic. Uh, Tyler Chapel Hill is always extremely athletic. 
and then Midlothian is Midlothian. They're a good group. So uh, I think it's a good pool. I think it's a well-balanced pool. I think we have a great shot. And it's like I tell the kids, it really doesn't matter what pool they put us in. If we play the potential, we can beat anybody. But if we don't execute and we're not disciplined and we and uh, we don't go out there and play with passion, you're going to get beat. And it doesn't matter who you play. Anybody can beat you in seven on seven. So uh, that's the goal. Hopefully we come back, uh, qualify for the state tournament. If not, hopefully we have grown and learned and uh, we can move on. The tournament itself is going to be played at four locations. Uh, yeah, it's going. There's. Uh, it's basically at the stadium, and then the grass field at the stadium, and then the new turf practice field, which is right. It's all in the same area. So mm -hmm. they got a new turf practice field in Walnut Grove Turf. That's the only one that's at a different spot. So I don't look at these because they do not affect me. Gotcha. That's pool C and D. I was right. just looking there. So we're basically playing on the practice field. Uh, by heritage and then uh the the game the stadium field is in, of course inside the stadium that's where they're playing play. so the practice field is by the main stadium pretty uh, yes, close uh, yes it's got to be because okay. it's got the same address gotcha well I, okay i should have looked there yeah, my that's golly what, that's it does how, that's how i figured it out i'm like where's that <laughs> well, it said, well it said the same address as the stadium i know where the stadium is gotcha so i'm just gonna look for a bunch of cars and a bunch of kids running around catching balls and stuff and that's where we're gonna that's stop right. yeah it should be some good competition come well, and yeah and pull uh pull c you got lindell whitney paris and uh springtown oh and then pull d which is a tough pull you got yeah. graham uh sunnyvale lake belton and stephenville so uh hmm. c and d is going to put on a good show too so it's, it's good good qualifier boy no doubt and that top one's got heritage and uh tyler chapel hill wills point in whitesboro mm -hmm. you know you talk about waxahachie life we pretty much had our way with them last year mm -hmm. but they had a lot of juniors and sophomores yes including they did. A sophomore quarterback that, that at times looked pretty good yeah they they're they are they're always athletic yeah uh and like i said the, the great e people seven on seven is a great equalizer i'm yeah. telling you yeah, they're gonna have some speed i'm telling mm, you yeah there's no <laughs> doubt about it so we're gonna have to play i mean it's a it's it's not an easy pool by any stretch of the imagination but like i said i feel if we played our potential which we have not yet and i expressed that last time that uh if we play our potential we can beat anybody but you can't turn the ball over yeah. you can't drop the ball you got to execute when you need to execute and on defense you got to be disciplined if you're in man coverage have strong eyes on your man and not looking at the quarterback to watch him throw your guy the ball and if we're in zone you're going to have to make sure you know uh your reads in zone and be where you're supposed to be and don't bite on things they're trying to get you to bite on so if we can do that i think we can be successful all right good luck to the uh, lions coming up this saturday at uh, midlothian heritage hey your uh football camp is coming up next tuesday wednesday thursday it is coming up tuesday wednesday thursday uh I forgot the At times. Wood, right? Yes, I'm sorry. I for, flat forgot the time. I think it's somewhere around eight. Uh -huh. It starts and we'll be done around noonish. Uh, we'll have lots of skills just like we've had in the past. Uh, break it up into bigger kids and smaller kids, and then we try to break it up into groups of uh, skill, different type of skill position, and teach actually teach them some skill that they can uh, use to be successful. With the younger kids, we really focus on uh, making sure they're having fun. Uh, the last thing you want to do is have a kid standing there and you. You're teaching him something that he's not going to retain, and he does. He's sitting there slobbering, and looking at a football, and he's never getting to throw it or catch it or touch it. So we try to get them real active in what they're doing, and with them teaching them how to throw and catch. You know, teach them how to, you know, maybe cover a guy and let them have a little fun or how to run a, a simple route and throw and catch. So with the younger ones, that's what we focus on. With the older kids, we focus on a little bit more detail of technique and uh, and and position. And then also the same with them, try to get them to have fun because they don't come to camp uh, to be bored. They come to have fun. So we try to mix it up. We put competitive games in there. One thing we always do is try to incorporate competition in everything we do and teach them that early. So uh, I'm excited about the camp. Uh, anybody's welcome to come watch if you'd like to come watch uh, sometimes we have mothers running around with water jugs chasing their kid around and I'm like we'll give them water we'll take care of them uh, not, not sure this year maybe I've been looking at maybe you know we always give t-shirts but maybe this year probably give them a football right. to take home with them to throw around and get used to filling that football in their hand if I can get that accomplished so not sure what treat we're going to give them for their entry fee but we're going to give them something that they can remember and hopefully they'll come out and, and have a great time all right Heather's uh, basketball camp is next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, two uh -huh. forms on her Facebook page and I think some other 
outlets too. So. I need to bring. Sorry, I'm behind. I've been busy, busy, I but I need have. to bring us a, a, a schedule for you for summer camp so we can have it to refer back on. But uh, Heather's basketball camp is always full. Yeah, it's always good. Uh, their coaches do a good job of teaching those kids. You know, they're constantly dribbling the ball. Just what we talked about. Those kids are active. They're constantly doing something, learning how to to dribble. You can't dribble a football, so we have to learn other things. But I mean, they're working on dribbling around cones and pass just passing the ball between their legs and I don't know how much shooting they do because they play to you know the gyms the the goals aren't as high but with the little ones but man they do work on skills and it's pretty neat to watch and I got me a little one gonna be in that camp yeah Leighton's gonna be taking yeah, part she's in gonna that be trying to hoop it up she you know she's gonna be about five foot two or something probably. <laughs> her mom and dad are pretty tall in stature so she better learn how to dribble a ball well too. mom's pretty tall she better learn how to ba <laughs> bounce a ball and handle it or she may not get to play much just like the movie Hoosiers. Yep. It's all about handling and passing that, and throwing and dribbling. That's right. And the Daisy Dukes they wore. <laughs> Remember those gold shirts? I wore Daisy those. Dukes? Trust so me. Did I. Star, can you picture me in those little no. big, big reason why <laughs> it's like, man, I ain't playing no more basketball. We had some Daisy Dukes, and anybody that played with me knew. Yeah, 70s, 80s, man, it was then all about the short shorts. Job, Kemp, Texas, I roll up to the junior high, we bust out the uniforms. I'm like, oh no. These poor kids are playing in the same uniform I did, just different color, and I was, they were they didn't like them either. I'm like, sorry, fellas. Oh man, how times have changed. Uh, we're going to much. Uh, basketball games wearing volleyball spandex. Exactly. What it's like? I'm like, golly, it's pitiful. <laughs> Oh man! Then I, right. you know, then we go through a stage. If your if your shorts don't hang past your knees, exactly. something wrong with you. And I had some on not long ago, and they're right mid knee or something. And some kid go, "Coach, your shorts! Look at them! Those are can't yeah. say what he said." Hey, let's go back to the seventies. Now, 70s now this, yeah. If your shorts aren't mid thigh or above, then it's funny how everything comes back. I know, isn't that though? It is yeah, coming we back. We had some, you know, some issues with dress code because their shorts are too short. I might. Well, then make them wear pants. Right. Yeah. I, when I was in school, you couldn't wear shorts until a certain time of year. That's right. Me too. Couldn't well, we, wear shorts. We spoil our kids. Are the shorts too yeah. short? Don't let them wear shorts. No we, more shorts. We couldn't wear shorts, period. Problem solved. No more shorts. Just blue jeans. Yep. That was it. It's called Absolutely. Discipline. Yeah. I hear I you. Know. All right. Man. Uh, there was something else, but you what? got me off on the shorts right there. I got there. you distracted, really? <laughs> that happens? You got me distracted. I apologize. <laughs> Did it have to do with camps? Probably. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'll think about it sometime, probably, after we get through recording our show. Okay. All right. In the meantime, <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. what's NASCAR doing this week? We're going to Charlotte Motor Speedway. That's a good one. Yeah, that's what I told my wife. I was driving a Porsche home, you know, <laughs> widely known as a Kia Soul, and she's having to ride with me. She needed a ride yesterday because Tatum is old enough to drive a car. Uh -huh. She's got her driver's license, so guess who we hadn't seen in about two weeks? Tatum. Tatum. Mm -hmm. She's been taking mom's car. and So she was riding home with a Porsche, and I was giving her some NASCAR renditions <laughs> on the way, and I told her, I said, we're going to Charlotte this weekend. Oh, she's like, man. Charlotte? Well, why, what do you mean? Why are we going to Charlotte? I'm like, come on, NASCAR, let's go. You'd be surprised how fast that uh, Kia Soul Porsche can get to yeah. 7904 Feather Bay Drive. Oh, man. Hey, we did a survey this morning about vacations, favorite vacation spot. Now, you said you might be going somewhere this summer. I Where's am. your favorite vacation spot ever? You don't go on vacation. Home. He does, too. I don't, man. He's I, been to Costa Rica. No, I'm going to Costa Rica. Oh, okay. I thought you'd been. In July, first vacation. I've, I've never taken more. I'm taking three days off ah. that I'm going to miss work. Well, you and I have something in similar. I there. don't miss. <laughs> And I'm sort of stressed about it, but I, I, that's what we're going to do. I'm taking they came my, here. Yeah. I I'm think. taking yeah. my wife to Costa Rica. So I will say this. I went into Dominican Republic a long time ago and stayed on a resort that was all-inclusive, which is the way I like it because I don't have to worry about digging in my right. pocket all the time, and it was on a golf course. Oh, man. That golf course was watered by the mist of the ocean. There was not a Ooh. sprinkler head on it, wow. and it was beautiful. You had to have a caddy, so I tipped my caddy uh, $20 after I played, and it was like a lot, and they only get like one round a week, so I requested him every time I played. He would climb up trees and get me fruit. 
Uh, oh, man. I mean, it was amazing. Great experience in a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful golf course. Because I'll have to say, uh, the Dominican Republic isn't the most beautiful place. Uh, but when you get on those resorts, they are. Oh, uh, there's man. a lot of poverty there, whatever. But I, and I've been to Jamaica uh, one time. Uh, so I, any of those islands in the Caribbean, I would think, would be heaven to me. Oh, wow. Yeah, no doubt. Get a little cabana out there. and Maybe one day we we'll move to Hawaii. All right. Hawaii. Hawaii. There you go. All right. Good stuff today, Coach. What's yours? Uh, you know. We're not finished yet. <laughs> If I get past Coleman, I'm doing pretty good, okay? I'm with you, man. I'm, when I do have free time, the last time thing I want to do is go somewhere else. I want to go back to Tombstone, Arizona. I love I've the been desert. There. I love I've it out there. there. Yeah, I've been there. There's something about it just magical. Arizona. I have a cousin that lives in Phoenix, Arizona, and going to Tucson and all that yeah. and seeing the Old West. and Oh, oh yeah. It's Those amazing. old silver mines and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just fascinating yeah. to me it is cool just it watch is. for them snakies oh that's for sure they got a plethora of those a plethora yes sir all know. right i'm sorry go no, no 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 it's good. okay we're good we got time no, it's all right all right you know derek hasn't given us the hurry up clock yet really so anyway all right anything else just thank those that make this show possible <laughs> carl auto glass magic avalon custom homes burner auto group syntex body and paint Syntex Equipment Sales, Citizens National Bank, Dan Hill Containers, Dr. Bon Young, Dr. Pepper Bonding Company, Edward Jones Investments, Hendrick Medical, Howie Enterprises, Humphrey Peets, Landmark Life, MC Bank, Painter & Johnson Associates, Smith & Sharp Agencies, Sonic Drive-In, Stanley Chrysler, Texas Bank, Weldon Wilson Electric, Western Bank, and Willie's Tees. A lot of fine sponsors right there. Well, Coach, sure thank you. Safe travels this weekend, and we'll be back to talk about it on Monday. Hey, Dallas. Keep the do. We like it. Keep the do. We're ready to come see you, brother. Let us know. We'll bring you some kind of goodies or let me know quickly. I'll get you some barbecue. That's right. And he is going to have a little welcome home get together one of these days yeah, soon. Yeah, when he does, I'm going to bring him some groceries. You do that. You'll <laughs> take the ribs. I'm, I'll take whatever he wants. I'll take the Astros cap. Okay. And the helmet. And the helmet. Got those helmets coming and his I way. And I can take some food to him. Hey. There you go. All right, Dallas. Yep, you stay well. Uh, Coach, thank you. You bet. Have a great day, Brownwood. Brownwood Lions head football coach, athletic director, Sammy Burnett, here on the Coach's Show every Monday and Wednesday at this time on KOXE 101.3. Of course, on the KOXE KBWD Facebook page and video streamed at KOXE.com.